This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Capricorn from February 8th to 22nd, 2022. Let's get to it. What do we got going on for you and your love interest at the beginning of this time period? Ooh, three of Wands. Six of Wands. And the Justice card. You're receiving some major compliments from this person. There's, there's this energy of you getting what you deserve here. Justification. There, there, there's, there's praise that's coming your way. Or this may have already started. But the Three of Wands, it's that energy of them doing something in the future. So th this may be happening in the next few days. You're receiving some sort of praise, some sort of compliment. Something that you, you know is right here that you've been waiting on, perhaps. Let's clarify this Three of Wands. They're taking some sort of action towards their future, what they want for them. Waiting for you. Equilibrium. Yeah, there's balance that's coming back into this connection here. They've been waiting to, to tell you something, to show you something, to do something here. What is this waiting about? What, what have they been waiting to do that they're finally doing? Ace of Swords, an Epiphany, Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. You are in a very strong place to influence this person through your own success through through your own ability to to give them things to 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 offer them a better life you've built an empire here this person is seeing some sort of clarity in terms of that some sort of plan here ace of swords in regards to to showing you your value clearly Letting them know, letting you know how much they value you. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords for them. Virtue for you, altruism. Yeah, like it, it's this inescapable idea that they have that the only right solution to whatever was was hindering was making this situation wait in the past is is now coming to that energy where they, they need to do something right, something fair. They need to speak up. And it, it's very selfless. It, it, it's letting you know that, that you have value to them. A lot of value. What is this, what is this praise that you're getting from this person? What is that about? What, what will they be saying towards you here? Let's figure that out. Seven of Swords. The Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. This is something of a collaboration, something to do with wanting to work with you. This person will be pursuing you. It, it's You could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but they, they saw something here. They, they may have been spying on you. It's kind of like some sort of behavior that, that they, they can't really tell you about. It, it's, it's kind of like behind the scenes. They're doing something. But whatever this was that they were doing, it's making, it, it's created this passionate desire to, to be with you, to, to build something with you. Pentacles. They see a lot of tangible material value in you so you are getting recognition for your own success and they want to share that with you let's clarify what what's this seven this actually yeah let's clarify the seven of swords for them 
regrets for you? Economy. Yeah, they, they were... They, this person has regrets about the past here. Like that, there's something about their past. They were spying on you. It's like they, they didn't want you to know. They weren't giving very much to this connection in the past. So now they want to make up for it in a big way. It's kind of like they're charging in full of passion, full of desire for, for something that they want to build with you, create with you, team up with you. What do they want to build with you? Three of Pentacles. Four of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups. This person sees you as a very healing presence. Like you are progressing in doing things that that come from your heart chakra. You're 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 following your your idea of beauty. You've you've come to some sort of understanding, not just about your own situation, but also in terms of what what would be good for them as well. This person is seeing that now. They may not have spoken up about this when they should have, when they first realized this. Because th this is something that's already matured in a way. Like there, there's already been something that, that, that was learned here, that was passed on to them. So their regrets here is, is that they didn't speak up sooner when they should have. Something was done, something was said that, that this person should have jumped on earlier. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups, where you're heading. For them, teaching. For you, conquest. You've already told this person that you want to collaborate with them, that you want to build something with them. You've let them know exactly where they would fit in. This person was just trying to, to sit on it. And it's like they, they were sitting on it too long. It's, it's kind of like this energy where you complimented them in such a way that, that they were just beaming and they were enjoying that, that energy of feeling good, you know, feeling golden even. So now it's, it's on them to, to make up for that, to come in and let you know how, how right you were or how, how they want to be a part of what you're doing. Hmm. Why is this person, why, why did this person wait so long to tell you this or to come around? This is happening right away for you. Yeah, they're taking action towards their future right away. So this, this may have already happened or this is about to happen. Actually, let's ask what, what happens next as a result of this. Yeah, they're taking swift action here. Ooh, coming together, charging ahead. This is what you've wanted with the, with the chariot card. You're, you're moving forward with this person. There, there's a mirroring, and they're taking a lot of urgent action. This has to happen now. It, it's kind of like you're, you've progressed so much, like, like you're, you're already moving ahead as though they're already with you. There, there's 1111 is... It's a twin flame indicator. It's where you come together in life to focus on a shared purpose, to build something together. You've already overcome a lot of obstacles, like you're moving very swiftly. So, so that is the evidence that this person needs. But you're moving so quick that they can't let you get away. So the, the next thing that happens is they're, they're coming to catch up here. Let's clarify this. 11-11 card is four of wands. For them, generosity. For you, ostentation. Yeah. It, it's kind of, it's, it's like you're, you're almost celebrating too quickly in a sense. Like, like there's, like you just feel something is so right that you, you know where you're heading. You don't need this person to, 
to tell you you're right or wrong. You, you, you're o- overcoming these obstacles. Like there's divine intervention. Things are helping you to overcome obstacles in a way that that cannot be explained. So this person needs to, they, they, the next thing that happens is they're coming in very quick to, to share this with you. So you don't, you don't get too far ahead with what you're doing. In the extended, we'll look into the random love generated questions. They're generated by the computer randomly. I just press a button, so I don't even look at them beforehand. But the way they come up sometimes is pretty amazing. First question, what's the biggest obstacle that's come between you and your love interest in the present? Interesting. The chariot is the obstacle buster. That is interesting. We'll look deeper into that. Uh... How does the love interest view you at the moment, at the moment that you're watching this? What's something that will surprise you about the love interest? These are good questions. And we'll ask, how should you handle this love interest in your next interaction? Perfect. All right. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.